Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So, as I said in the end of the last portion of this, we're going to be doing a lot of preparation in this part. We're going to go back, we're going to beat an optional boss that's going to allow us to purchase some cool items, and then we're going to go, and we're going to fight another one of the uh, Lords of Cinder. Uh, but he's kind of off the beaten path. So... Let's see, what, what's my weapon at? I've been playing on several different characters. We got it at plus three. So that means. Huh. That is good, wasn't it? We need to get. One more large titanite shard. Get to plus four. Five more to get it to plus. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well, let's go get this optional boss out of the way. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm thinking right, but I think the Chlorinthy ring is somewhere around here and I just missed it. I know where the fire clutch is so I'll go grab that not that I'm gonna use it but just for showing it you know and um, I wonder if there's anything else I missed I will be going to get the the uh, stray demon soul so that I can get Havel's ring which will allow me to actually wear some armor with this sword this sword weighs a ton Oh. Nope, didn't drop anything, so the fire clutch is right here. get the dark clutch and it'll be on our path as well. Let's, let me think. I remember for the Chlorinthy, I think I dropped down from above into a room, but I uh, I'm not I'm not sure where that would be. We do need to go this way in order to get through where we need to be to get to this optional boss, as I described. Oh, that totally hit you, bro. <laughs> as I described in the first part. Oh, no. Not what I wanted at all. Let's get the bonfire, bros. Don't really know where he is, but so long as I'm here, that's good. Cool. Go ahead and grab a sun, bro, just because. Maybe. Maybe. I would like that very much. Please? There we go. Never mind. Well, let's see if he gets here before this guy does. I don't even know where he would have spawned. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mm. Oh. Okay. Alright. I'll take it, I guess. <sighs> I 
I don't need to summon anybody for this boss because it's so easy. But oh, come now, please no, please. Oh 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 oh. Thought it was still alive for a second. He does so much damage everywhere else. Or maybe that was just because I was on New Game Plus. Either way, they're... <laughs> he does a lot of damage at other points. I really don't know how to parry in this game. It just it's nothing like either of the first two. Okay, let's try to leave this place one more time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he drops anything when you kill him. I'm gonna go back up just to make sure. Nope. I wonder why so many people want to fight this boss. I mean, I guess it's an easy win, but... I wouldn't think there would be that many summons for it. Ow! Jeez. Thought we were cool, bro. Somewhere around here there's some ashes, but I just don't remember where. Oh, I guess they were just sitting there then. Alright. Worker gloves, worker trousers, no! Oh! Oh shit! I didn't hear him shoot again. Great scythe is over there. Definitely want that. Could be kind of fun. I wonder if I can get him to drop his weapon. Nope. Not so lucky. That was almost death. purposes later on, I'm going to open this door, but I mean, there's really no point opening it. Unless you just really want to make sure that you can come back and fight it if you die.
Oh my gosh. I thought he might roll backward. Todrick dead. Excuse me? He's not actually dead, is he? What? This is quite perplexing. Did he twitch? Did he twitch? Alright, well. See you, Hodrick. So now we go... Wait, now we're gonna go back to Firelink and see what kind of weapons we can get. If there's anything... Anything that I might be interested in grabbing at this point. But the main reason that we're doing this is so I can get Havel's Ring and actually be able to wear armor. Not that it's necessary for the next boss, but for the boss afterward. And all of the bosses after that. <laughs> Another thing I do believe armor is viable in New Game Plus now. I'm not going to say I don't like it, but it's definitely a change. Okay, what was I doing? Alright, yes, yes, I know. Up there, little crippled man. He can give us boss weapons, yay! All that and kindled, and I look uh, bleh, Swamp, old wolf Farron. And we're gonna go kill the stray demon. Because we need that rang. We need that sweet rang. I'm gonna actually look up where the Chloranthy ring is because 
I know, I know I've seen it because I I've had it. I vaguely remember how I got it, but I don't have any idea of its exact location. So I know I'll want that for late game, like the last two bosses. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, alright, yeah. yeah. I was thinking correctly. It's off on a completely, completely unnecessary path. But we're gonna take it now. And we don't wanna be in front of him, we gotta be behind him. his legs. Quit it. There we go. That's what I wanted him to do. There we go. No? No, not quite. Thought he was falling down. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Oh, I'm not dead? Oh, they toned that back. That was killing me with a lot more health before. Oh, well, his legs didn't break, but at least he's dead. So, now we can go. Actually, I'll show this hidden area over here. Oh, it's not really hidden, I guess. If you look around, you'll see it. in this. Oh, we can upgrade this thing to plus four now. That's a good idea coming back over here. Lightning spear, and then dragon crest shield, and then more goodies. More goodies. So, we And back home. Now we get Havel's ring. Yay! So you can get two things out of this soul. You can get either the rock vomit pyromancy or <laughs> Havel's ring. I would assume that anyone would want Havel's ring over that.
So I don't appear to have anything else worth putting on. Upgrade this thing again, and then we'll be good to go for the next boss. Which the next boss doesn't even require. You could beat that boss without having the ability to even hold a weapon, because the weapon that you have to use to beat it requires no stats. It's no stat requirement. It's do not. All right. We're good. Trying to plan out what I want to do. Do I want to go fight the boss or grab Clorinthy? Ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab the Clorinthy. Because I'm not even using that ring slot. And eventually I'm gonna need to get the ring of favor as well. Oh, so much to do. This, I don't really want this to go on too long. That I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit longer than the other ones because I'm planning on beating the next boss fairly quickly and then trying to beat the boss after that because this has just all been one huge detour after another. I don't want this walkthrough to linger too long. So, we're gonna go over to where Sigurd was originally. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, everything's bad. Yep, that's death. Gosh. If he had thrown it while I was on the bridge, I would have died, and then threw it when he knocked me into the corner. That's death anyway. This is why I need armor, so that I don't die after like two hits. <laughs> I wonder if I... I don't... Oh gosh, that's that's just... Barely. I'd need... Oh, I can wear a hood though. That'll do for now. need to get the ring of favor before I can actually wear a helmet of any kind. But that's after the boss. Oh my. So many things to do on the first playthrough. New Game Plus is so easy to run through on this game. You can definitely run through the game in a couple of hours. New game is kind of sketchy. Mm. Yeah, okay, good. Going up. And drop it off. Hello, Sigurd. Mm. Ah, don't disappear like that. But thanks to you, I've. <laughs> Hello. I'm Humongous Beast. And we're going. Come on, Sigurd. You can do it. No. You should have waited. Well, it's too late now. I seek word of the Knights of Katarina. Fight by your side. Oh, gosh. About died.
That's all of the gestures. More gestures. Yay, that's my favorite. Now, the Corinthy Ring is along this path. Somewhere over here. If I do recall. It's not in here, but I kind of want to know what is there. Not worth. Not worth. Drop anything? Nope. Up we go. And then. And then. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alright. I can dig it. Chlorine theory ring is right there. That's gotta be it. I'm gonna run around the outside here real quick just to check. There's not anything. No more bone, alright, alright, cool, cool. And Clorinthy rings down here. Yeah! So cool. So cool. Oh, and that's the mirror set too, look at me. Just picking up everything. Odd. Oh, the ring! The ring put me over. The ring must weigh a lot. Yeah, the ring weighs one. And now, to run to the bonfire and then loop around a couple times. It's gonna be good. All of the enemies in this area are really annoying because they have infinite stamina and they will actually swing all day. <laughs> so if you can, I would just recommend running past them because you don't really get much for killing them. And you're going to die more than you'll win against them more than likely. This is the first bonfire, but we can't make any progress until we have gone around and unlocked the long path. So, instead of unlocking that path right now, I'm going to go ahead to another bonfire, which is along that path, but it's about midway through. Probably make things significantly easier going forward anyway. Oh, missed a path here. There's a person that drops down here, so it's best to just kind of stick to the wall because they will do like a critical damage, kind of like a backstab. Uh, 
There's some twinkling behind this wall. To the right over there, there's a drop, but I don't remember if it's worth struggling to walk over there. And if you didn't kill the giant demon rat thing that was on the bridge up above, it'll come down like it just did. That thing drops, I believe, Pontiff's right eye, which allows you to do more damage on successive swings of using a fast weapon. That's really good. Pontiff's left eye makes you regain health like in Bloodborne with successive swings. So if you combine those, like, and use both rings, it'd be pretty cool. If not OP. I'm gonna get invaded by Alva, I think. Yep, there he is. Irithal dungeon. And now we wait for Alva. I'm afraid he's gonna be right there. There he is. Cheesed. Oh, go away. Purples. I will take you. I'm not gonna wait, though. I've got a lot of things to do before I finished. Oh! This place is awful. And don't try to grab that. It's not worth it. Time to go, time to go. Time to go. I hate this place. I love it and hate it at the same time. They were of a ton of use. I'm sorry I summoned you. <laughs> Just ruined your day, probably. <laughs> I, I still don't understand how to get up there to that. I just... It's gotta be an illusory wall or something. But I sincerely doubt that it's worth it. But the drop up there like that is probably shit. If I've learned anything from Dark Souls. I don't... Oh, it's that's Nasus Flask Shard. I don't think I'm able to kill that thing though, that's the problem. But we've gotta try for that Estus Flash. 
ask. Other mimic is some somewhat close, and that's the one that has the dark clutch. This part is quite frustrating. Died here many times. Ooh. Ah, every time. Damn it. At least it killed that for me. I was hoping I'd get there before he slammed his hand down. Mm. Let's see if I can actually summon somebody for this. What's this? I'm thinking that I'm not gonna really use dark magic all too much, so I'm just gonna skip the dark clutch. I mean, I'll tell you where it is, but I'm not gonna get it on this, because I'm just thinking. Maybe not.
did it. Okay. Ugh. So the dark clutch is in the mimic that's up there. I'm not gonna go get it. Now we're opening up shortcut. The camera gets really messed up here. Because these giant rats are so fast, they always catch up with you. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe they won't this time. Did I do it? Nope. Down the elevator we go. And there's a buff right there on that corpse is lightning blade. So if that's what you want, that's where you get it. Here's the first of the dragon stones. We'll have to come back here later in order to actually get to an entirely optional area of the game and begin actually getting all of the other dragon stones. You can only get that one normally. Unless you go to this optional area. You can't use them unless you get all of them. And then you have to kill that Hawkwood guy or whatever his name is. Bonfire number two in this place, right here. Now, the jailer's key, we got the jailbreaker's key, but the jailer's key should be somewhere around here, I think. It's down, though, got more upgrade materials for us, this flask. I'm gonna go ahead and go beat this boss. I take the weapon off for this boss though. Oh wow! Wow. Oh, I just lost 31,000 souls because somehow I didn't pick mine up. I don't really care though. Souls are about to be something easy to get. I'm already level 40. That's good enough. I don't know why everything does so much damage to me. Right. Oh, Vigor's only 15. Okay. Didn't know. I might go respec. Yeah, I might go respec after this uh, boss after this one. So that I'll be... I mean, I'll have to get some upgrade materials for weapons as well. But I'll need to have more vigor for later bosses. I'll have to upgrade something else other than this giant sword.
imagine if I didn't have the life ring on. So I can't get hit during this boss fight. I usually get hit once or twice. Well, at least I don't have to fumble through the menus this time. Okay. Alright. Let's go again. stats looking like anyway. Oh, everything's pretty low, except for strength. Only level 40, I guess, but... Man, never been to this point of the game. I only had 15 vigor. I usually have at least 20. just so there's a chance I might survive his attacks. I should survive his attacks with that health bar, I think. Just because I'm cool, I'm going to charge up before I enter. GG Take a moment, think. distant manner and then we'll make our way around and open up the way to the boss mm. Mm. probably shouldn't be uh, with ember when I go through here because I'll get invaded but 
Go ahead and risk it for the biscuit, I suppose. So we gotta go through here, on the right here. I don't need to go upstairs, but upstairs, just for anybody that wants to know, in this room, there are two chests, maybe three, I think there's only two though. One has Smo's hammer in it, and the other one I want to say has a Leo ring in it. Or I think a Leo ring? Something up there. Not gonna go check it out though. Silver Knights are bad. There's that invader I was talking about. Ow. Leave me alone, dog man. Ow. 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 Uh, I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious, but I'm going to get the shortcut open. More important. Ugh. Oh. Wrong attack. I was thinking of something else. Ugh. My soul. <sighs> yep. 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 Oh. I forgot to grab this. This is one of the ear things. Proof of Concord kept that you give to the Dark Moon once you join them. And. Uh. If I could go back, I'd show you what you have to do to join them. I just set that up and then. Uh. Uh. I don't want to fight the boss. I don't want to do it. Oh! Oh. You're dead. You're dead. What was this again? Oh, perfect. I'll need that. While I'm walking around here, I suppose I'll show that on that corpse right there, you have to drop down from here to get to it, is the, mm, I don't know what it's called because I never picked it up on the English version, but it's the ring that increases the power of miracles. I'm, I'm like 90% sure that's what that is, but I'm not going to pick it up. Because I'm, I'm just not going to do it. Oh! Let's go then.
damn it. Alright guys, so this is an entirely different recording session from what you just watched. Uh, my original plan for this had been to get a couple rings, to beat the optional boss, to beat Yorm, and then beat this Pontiff Sullivan guy. And I just got sidetracked, other things I had to do, got a couple other games, I played Hitman, played uh, Black Desert Online. So, uh... <clears throat> Just needed. I think I need to take a little bit of a break from this. And I'm back. I think I'm ready. Let me, let me look at some some shit here. So I got it to plus four. Got Havel's ring on. So got some armor. Oh, I'll need to summon somebody for this. Because of the second half of this fight, it's just complete. Aggro management. Got eight Estus flasks. I just beat this boss with another character. I only had six Estus flasks on, so I don't see any reason why I would be able to beat it now. <clears throat> it's been long enough at this point that I would assume people would want to be doing co op, so. see. Maybe not. Or maybe they all want to put their sun sign by the fog wall. I've been noticing a lot of that. Quite different. Usually they want to put it by the bonfire to help people through the area. But then again, seeing as how they limited healing in this, maybe they're just wanting to fight the boss. Make sure they get it done. That's not very much HP. Shit. Uh, it's gonna take me a little bit to get back into it.
what you're using at this point just needs something Let's try this. I probably ought to summon another person because it hasn't been working out with only one, but let's give it a try. If this guy dies before I even get close. Then... Frame rate drops galore. Fuck! Jeez! Oh, stop it. Stop it right now. Oh, good. Yes! Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. And that'll do it for the fourth part. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe or come back and watch the rest of it as it will be going up soon. It just takes me a while to get it all recorded and edited. So I hope you found this informative and I'll see you in the next part.